Good morning. Wait, I'm just checking the time. I wasn't sure what time it was, but it's still morning. Good morning, everyone. Just here to give you guys an update on uh, Olivia. Sorry for the mess, but I have to put it on if a nurse comes in or a doctor. Um, so just give me an update. Olivia's doing good. Definitely better from where she was at when we first started. I'm sure many of you saw her, the video we did in February um, just explaining everything that she's gone through. Um, so Olivia will be going home soon. She still has a long a long way for recovery but thankfully the doctors feel like she's okay to go home sooner than later um, to hopefully get stronger uh, she does have to go home with a lot of medication one of them is IV um, they don't have this medication like like oral or anything so she does have to go home with uh, an IV uh, that's placed right here on her chest um, and it's something this medication is called melanol which helps with the function of the heart so Olivia's function is still not exactly where it needs to be but it's definitely come a long way and uh, they're hoping that with time and with this medication that her function will get better and that's what we're praying for and hoping for and that's one thing we ask that when you pray for her you know, specifically pray for the function of her heart, especially the left side, because that's the side that got dilated. Um, you know, she's definitely looks better than she did a few months ago. Um, she's gained weight, you know. Now she doesn't have the feeding tube shed in her nose because since they are, like I said, they're planning to send her home sooner than later. They ended up putting a G tube in her stomach, which is like a button thing, and that's where she will get feeds. Um, she does need to get feeds in her stomach because she still can't really eat. Like her mouth, we're practicing with speech, and she can have a little bit, but it's still um, she still has a way to go. So she needs her vitamins. She needs, you know, her milk. So she has a G tube, and she also has this other drainage that that's. A different that'll take me forever to explain but that if you guys know what Camila had when she was a baby it's pretty much the same thing so um, we are happy with the progress that Olivia has had um, you know this hospital is amazing the doctors her surgeons her cardiologists her urologist just everyone her nurses have been amazing and um, we're just happy and we want to thank everyone for that has prayed for her that continue to pray for her i want to thank everyone for your text messages um for your love it definitely hasn't been an easy journey and um and i thank god because you know, I have my moments where I get sad, but overall, I've been pretty strong, and I and I, I gotta give God the glory for that because I, you know, I don't know if I would have made it this far to see everything that Olivia has gone through. <laughs> Sorry, I am an ugly crier, so I'm trying to keep it together. If I start crying, I'm gonna do this because this covers the ugliness of my mouth. <laughs> but anyways, but um, but I'm happy, you know that she's come this far and um she's definitely grown that she's getting bigger and uh you know uh she was supposed to go home this week later this week which we were kind of excited about because she's gonna turn one on saturday may 9th with her twin but they're still trying to you know uh figure out her feeds and her electrolytes so they just told us that maybe next week depending how her her whole formula thing goes because she's been throwing up and so they just want to make sure she's okay before we go home and continue recovery at home so um i am a little sad because i thought we were going to celebrate their birthdays together but it's okay they have i told olivia she has the whole month of may to celebrate with her sister so hopefully once they're home together, we'll be able to, you know, get a cake, a big cake, and uh, 
well, you know, I'm still going to try to get a little cake for them, you know, because it is their birthday and uh, Isabella deserves her little cake and so does Olivia on their special day on the first day and uh, first day, I'm sorry, their first birthday. So um, just please like continue to pray for us, especially for Olivia, like again, for her heart function as they're planning to send us home with a bunch of medications. I need a lot of prayer too because I'm so nervous. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have a nurse in the first couple weeks. So I have to administrate all her medications. They're prepping me of how to give medications. I have a class tomorrow of how to do the G-tube, how to, um, she is on blood thinners. Um, so she's on a pill for that, but in case her INR, which is like a number they look at, if it's too low, I have to administrate Lovenox, which is a shot. So I have a class with that tomorrow. So it's, it's gonna be a lot on my plate, but um, I know that God's gonna help me through it and uh, just ask you for prayers. And uh, yeah, uh, it's like reality's kicking in that we might go home soon. Again, she looks great, um, but she's still, recovering but they're letting us do it at home um because besides her heart function everything she's doing great um so yeah it's just time and hoping that that with time her heart function would get better and uh you know she's our heart warrior and and we she's just she's been so strong honestly everything she's gone through like i'm just like olivia how do you do it i can't it breaks my heart but she's been so strong and all these babies here like i met so many amazing families amazing moms like it's you know it, it you wouldn't think that heart disease affects babies like you always hear adults like oh they have heart attack or stroke they have this no there's so many babies born all the time with heart disease with heart like just something like they literally at chop have one whole floor like with babies with heart conditions it's so heartbreaking and i was like i'm like stunned like wow like there's all these heart babies and a couple of um, people that were able to come see Olivia before the restriction of visitors and stuff um, got to see like literally so many babies with heart problems and all they're all heart warriors you know and I've met so many people so many great families you know and and I uh, I'm glad I've been able to meet moms and these kids that have become family and um, from other states that come here and so again thank you for your prayers continue to pray for my olivia and hoping that when we go home you know seeing her sister she will get stronger practice sitting because she sits for a little bit but she gets tired her head control definitely got back thank god she had a stroke so she couldn't move her left side for a while she's moving it glory to god you know and um just you know just working on her sitting up longer and I, i'm hoping that with her sisters and seeing her sisters she'll be motivated more to uh you know sit up and grow and get strong and, and that's our what our hope is and trusting god through this whole process that he's in control and like i tell the doctors i trust god i believe in god and i know that he has the last word and he's our doctor and he knows what he's doing and that's all we have so thank you again sorry for the long video um but love you guys continue to pray for Olivia, continue to pray for my Isabella. I miss her so much. And my Camila, they're growing up so fast. Um, just pray for them too. And, um, you know, my in-laws that are helping Emerson at home because Emerson's been home with the girls. And um, thank you, baby, for being with the girls. I know it's not easy, but yeah. And, uh, you know, my family that wish could be with the girls to help as well, but with this whole virus thing. I be able to so just thank you for your prayers i really truly appreciate it i truly appreciate it okay and uh she's waking up i hear her she took a nap so that's why i was trying to do the video because she likes me to be right next to her so <laughs> i hear her moving and shaking her little maracas so i'll talk to you guys soon and just continue to pray and i will post a picture too of all the meds she's going home actually some of them because some they have to be taken to the fridge but i have some 
just so you guys have an idea of all the mints that my Puerto Rico has to take. Okay, thank you. Love you guys. Bye, Lupa Mascar.